Welcome, thank you for joining me for another draft of Dusk Morn. Trying to get in some extra drafts this week to make up for the week I had to take off. So, let's see what we can do here. Could be worse. Could be better. I don't think you want Central Elevator. I think the Doll or the Piggy Bank are the two best cards here. Um... I'm quite fond of the piggy bank. Um, but you know, I'm also fond of drag to the roots. And if I'm going to take like a sub par card, I'd rather take a removal, I think, than just a two drop creature. Um, I think if there were more red cards in this pack, I would be tempted to take piggy bank. Um, but with just piggy bank and hand that feeds, um, I don't think a red card's going to wheel. So, Especially if I took Piggy Bank, right? I wouldn't get hand that feed, so... Um... There's not really a good wheel out of this pack. It's pretty weak. Toby's great. I can definitely be convinced to do Reanimator Toby again. Um, Glimmer is good. Beat Down. Say its name, yeah. I mean, nobly. Not a lot of red cards in this pack either. So, hmm, you know, if I haven't taken Drag and Toby, I think I would take the Mirth here. Um, I don't think I'm going to take Slumber or Slayer. Given our start, I like Zealot because um, it allows us to cast everything we've taken. But only one white card in this pack is a little bit... I mean, it's too early to tell, but... One white card. We'll see. I'm gonna take Zealot. Hedge Shredder's awesome. Really late Dragonfire. Burrow, or actually this whole pack, what's... Stay Hidden, Stay Silent, Gremlin, Glimmer, Rat. Um... Yeah, this pack's kind of bonkers, right? Wow. That's just a good assortment for anybody, no matter what deck you're drafting. I'm going to take Hedge Shredder. Torment or Entryway. It's close, but I think the entryway's better. There's more synergies than Torment has. I mean, Torment's a good removal spell, but entryway just triggers so many synergies um, that I think it's worth taking here. I think red is becoming a pattern. I mean, there's no good blue in this pack. Cult Healer's fine. I think, uh... I think if Cult Healer wasn't the only white card in this pack, I would be tempted to take this Ticket Booth, because I think it's the stronger card. But, um... I think because we're in white, cutting white seems better. To kind of protect Toby, I guess, is the way I see it. Into a murder. I think, uh, passing Goat's okay. Although, I think you could take Goat and just keep cutting white if you really wanted to, but Murder's a little too strong. Another chance at a Goat. Or we could have a Land. This is actually quite an interesting pick. I absolutely do not see us going away from Abzan, so... Land's kind of critical, but... If we are in Abzan, I do want Recursion, so the Goat's kind of the perfect one drop, so I think I want the Goat. Um, man... Hand that feeds Wheeling in the Piggy Bank pack. And Clown. So somebody took Piggy and Beastie and that's it. Uh, kind of makes me want to take this Clown over this Long Neck, but I'm going to stay the course with Abzan a little longer. Hmm. This is why counting colors and strength of pack is important. Burwer Wheeling. That was the uh, Dragonfire pack. Huh. Okay. 
Dollmaker shop is pretty great. I'm glad we're in white. Um, this pack is also very good, but there's nothing here uh, that I would take over Dollmaker shop. I hope to get something on the wheel, but you really can't complain when you open Dollmaker shop. I've never played with the card. I've I've heard it's a bomb. <laughs> so I guess I'm okay with it. Here's an opportunity to jump into red instead of black. There's some good uh, green-white wheels, but I think you could take drag or bargain here. And I don't think it would be crazy to take bargain. Um, but because we already have one other drag, I think I'm just going to take drag to go with our murder. I'm seriously considering this Norin. Flickering Toby is pretty strong. I mean, is the fixing gonna come? And just another dragon fire as well. Just, I don't know. I'm gonna take a goat. Stay course. We just need some top end. Wow, so punished. Could have had waltz. I mean, for a reanimator, we do have Right of the Moth. Um, we're missing out on a survivor. We have a good consolation. There is a top end card finally. Uh, it's not my favorite one, but it's the one I'm going to take. Missing out on some very good playables. Ghost Vacuum or Manifest Dread. I actually think in our deck, Ghost Vacuum might be better. I mean, Playmate's also here. If we want to abandon our black, but I think with Shroud Stomper and Right of the Moth, that's, that ship sailed, so. Ghost Vacuum it is. Hmm. I guess I want to secure another recursion, since that's kind of the plan. We're going with Double Goat. This red is disgusting. I mean, how long am I going to sit here and pass it? I guess I'm going to take Glassworks and say enough's enough. But then we have Rye the Moth wheeling as well. I mean, maybe Mardu is the spot. But then we wheel the green. I don't know. Green feels like it's closing up, but... It was open in pack one. I mean, we're definitely white. Our reanimation white black is very solid. It's definitely open right now, but we're kind of torn between the green lane closing and the red lane opening up. I mean, most valuable Slayer, pick 11, but I'm going to take a Valgavoth's Faithful over it. Because I think us sticking to the, you know, recursion plan is stronger at this point. Um, I'm not going to write red off completely, but... A lot of things would have to go right for us to have to play it. I mean, this is fine. It's missing top end. I think that's my biggest issue right now, is that I've got all the enablers for recursion. But nothing I really want to bring back. <laughs> so we need to find some uh, good win con targets. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can take solace in the fact that we have one of the best cards in the format, so. We have that going for us, at least. Okay, come on, pack three. It's kind of cruel, isn't it? I really like Shard Foyer. another dragon fire here. Like, if we had taken all of them, we'd have three now. And a wicker folk, but... I guess I'll, I'll just keep taking Abzan and take nowhere to run. It's perfectly fine. 
early removal is great. I mean, I think we could definitely use this in our deck. But man, gross. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. It's fine. I think with Doll Shop, I need to consider this Arabella on the splash. And we have several ways to recur it. Like, we don't even have to cast it with the red. We could ditch it with the goat and then bring it back with our five recursion spells. So I'm going to take Arabella over the chainsaw because it's a creature we can actually recur. Um... But yeah, I think at some point you just have to say enough's enough. And uh, I need to start entertaining Red. Like I think, I think you could actually take uh, the Skin Ripper here. How deep do I want to go into it? guess just monstrous emergence is safer although we don't really <laughs> we don't really have a lot of good targets for that it's kind of awkward removal in our deck okay horde collar that is another top end card not in abzan but worth splashing for maybe for recurring the haste on it makes it a great recursion target i mean i don't want to play those cards um, but I will if I don't find better targets to recur. We have double goat to discard. We have a zealot to maybe occasionally hard cast them. I don't think I want hand that feeds. It's possible we could cut green and go there, but I guess I'm going to go... Well, goat's safest, but emergence is probably better here. Hmm. I guess survivor's fine. It's another wing con. Storyteller, yeah, I mean, Abzan was open, Mardu was open. Um. This was a very uh, strange draft. I guess I'll take the playmate for the combo with Arabella, maybe. Murder pick nine, no biggie. Because it's fine. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't need more recursion, but I'll take it. Um, I think attic. Is actually playable here with the uh, Dollmaker's Shop. Got a ticket booth anyway. A clown. Hmm. I think if I let go of my green earlier and switched into red, we would have ended up in a better spot with just straight out Mardu. Uh, but I do stand by abandoning... Drag to the Roots, a Zealot, and a Head Shredder is probably not where you want to be. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I should have been willing to let him go. Because now we're sitting here with this. Ah, uh, you know. Obviously I can't play this. Um, I need to cut it down to a 3 base minimum. I just need to figure out what that 3 base is. Is it going to be Mardu or Abzan? <sighs> White and black have our strongest cards, so those are definitely in the base. So it's either going to be red or green as the secondary main. If green is our main, we get dragged to the roots and easier splashing for red. Um, if red's our main, we play no green. No green at all. There's no splashing for a fourth, so... Um, those are the two decks we really need to figure out which one we want. I don't know. Can I can I win without double drag to the roots? And you know, the survivor is also one of our better win cons. I mean we certainly have the playables. 
think we can make do here. Um, the doll maker shop is super awkward because you can't attack with the toy. So, you know, our two drops are toys. Or one drops, thankfully, aren't. But, I mean, the removal definitely suffers. I don't think Glassworks is nearly as good as Double Drag to the Roots. And Monstrous Emergence as well. Hmm. I think this would be okay. But it's lack of removal. Makes me feel like green is kind of necessary still. Like if we had taken those dragon fires. I think this would have been okay. But we didn't. So, um, Abzan is the base, and we're gonna probably splash, well, at least Horde Collar and Arabella, maybe more. But this way we get Survivor, Head Shredder, Double Drag, maybe Anthropede. Two more creatures to attack in for doll shop early. So in this plan, we're running one mountain just in case we want to cast it. <laughs> uh, but most time I see ourselves, you know, ditching these with to the goat and then bringing them back or having head shredder kind of get our lands. They're very late game plays in this deck. I guess we don't need the cocoon. Just four recursions with Ride of the Moth should be plenty. I think I want more green though. Head Shredder is good. Zealot needs to land on the board to get our fixing going. Um, we don't need double Swamp Tall later anyway. Makes murder awkward. I will say that. But I mean we don't really have a monstrous emergence deck either. I mean what are we gonna do? Two damage to something with monstrous emergence? One damage? It's not it's not a good card in this deck, so I don't think we have a choice. We've got to run murder. Anyway, let's get into the games. Start hand looks good. Hello. Maybe they know the channel. This is a pretty good start. <laughs> uh. Yep. Ooh, missing land is not good though. We really want another land there. I think we should be willing to trade here. Okay, I can't make any more dolls, so I need to get some land. That works. It's kind of awkward here. We'll just drag, I guess, after they attack. Found our one mountain though. They're playing greenhouse. I see. They have black in their deck. Yeah. Let's do this. That looks decent.
Okay, dull black's good for murder. It's good. It's kind of like taking the turn off. Um, I think I have to murder the brood spinner. I don't think I can beat a whole bunch of 1-1 one -one flyers. I am going to block here though. They're tapped out. Safe trade. Hmm. This is awkward. I just instant lose to five flyers, right? So I have to do this now. Which means I can't cast anything else this turn. Yep. It's okay. This is an easy trade. Okay. I feel like twins here. There's some good hits. Um. It's fine. a draw. I can't believe they're letting me, I guess, get a toy if I want. I have to do, well, let's do the forest. It's a choice. Okay, I guess that's because they wanted to attack him with the beast. Or they just had a whole hand of removal. Nice. I think uh, I think I will trade off for the 1-1 one -one here. They can equip it up with the Glimmer Light anyway, you know? So I guess I'm trading off my head shredder. Yeah. I don't think the attack is worth it. It's kind of problematic. I need to find an answer to that spider.
Yeah, I don't want to go down to two. to hold that for spider. Can't unlock my attic either. Because if I do, um, then I can't murder. I can't make my goat into a 4-4 four -four though. So, there is that. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um. This is awkward. <laughs> Have to kill this. Okay. It gives us some options. I actually think I want the planes on the battlefield though. I'm going to hold it for one more turn. Let's go like this. It's fine. That was going to get that 4 4, no matter what. At least it's not the dollhouse, right? Okay. Well. I'm not ready to make everything into power toughness of how many creatures I have. Just too many ways for that to be a bad thing. Like that. I mean, the good news is we don't have to pay the life. It's not like they can get stuff back. They will get a land. I don't really care about that, though. Ghost Vacuum is pretty great against the Meat Hook Massacre. Um, yeah, I mean, where's our recursion? That's, that's the better question. We have so, so much recursion. Yeah, it's a problem. All right, we can't hit their graveyard because they'll get a 2-2 if we do. So how do we want to play this? I mean, there's certain cards I want to actually recur in full, like the Shroud Stomper. I want it to be a 5-5, five, five, you know? 
But maybe it's greedy. Could just take a uh, death toucher. I mean, the other awkward thing is when something dies, like Meat Hook Massacre, it could go to their side, so I need to be careful with that. I think I like just the f death toucher as, you know, a safe, easy target. It's not good. Um, so we're taking four. They go down to four cards in the library. Do I need to give them a death toucher this turn? Or am I just going to take four? No, I think the right move is just take four. And pass. I mean, again, with Dull, dull House, like, mmm. Okay, so we're going down to one. It's kind of a problem. Two cards left in their library. So... I think I need Shroud Stomper. Does that win? Haste on our Razorkin Horde Caller? Does that do it? Haste. Death Touch, it's attacking alone, it becomes a 5 power. They have to block. They want their card back, they have to pay, but then my Ghost Vacuum can get it. I make a 1-1 one, one to block. I make two 1-1s one, to block. I don't have to pay life to keep those. I can chomp. Oh yeah, this is really good. I In fact, this is better than Vacuum. Like, Shroud Stomper and... Yeah. Because that... I mean, they get Shroud Stomper, I just die, right? Whereas they can't kill this haste creature unless that last card in hand is a removal. They have to chomp it or else they lose. And I can ghost vacuum the 2-2 two -two when they try and pay to get it back. It's fine. Ugh. It's just complaining that we weren't getting our uh, recursion, but here it is. <laughs> One short from being able to do it again. But that's okay. This is good. This is lethal. Tokens are really good against that meat hook. Nice. All right, GG. Ooh, that was that was a game of magic. <laughs> that was exciting. hand sucks. I'm gonna keep it though. I just need a goat and then a ride of the moth. We'll be okay. There's the ride of the moth. Now I just need a goat. We got two goats in the deck. Goat me. Probably good enough to kill. Can't take two in the air forever. Not with this hand. Eek. We might just lose to this percussion as well. Actually, now we're gonna lose to this hall creep. <laughs> That's not good either. Tapland was not what we wanted. Hmm. This is really awkward. Okay. That's actually quite good. 
cord collar can definitely get us out of this. Ouch. I think we might be too far behind now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. This parting unable to scream is such a flex. <laughs> we're we're doomed. If they're discarding scream, I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do here. They have removal. We're just too slow to the board. Stumbled just a little bit too long there in the middle. And they had a perfect curve out and pressure, so. I mean, removal and I don't I don't think we can win here. Yep, that works. We'll play it out. Be good sports, but this is a beating. Maybe I should have mulligan the hand. It was a bad hand and I knew it, but. I mean, even if we had a good hand. Hall Creeper in fear of uh, missing out. Pretty good. GG. Nice deck. Good game. This is good. Okay. <laughs> Missing black. Head shredder is gonna be able to find us some uh, some lands though. This is awkward. I'm gonna attack, I guess. The clown. I guess I'll block with Toby and the beast if I have to. Like, they get like eight power or something crazy here, but. I don't want to. Yeah. Can I take six damage and still win? Someone I have coming up? I don't think so. Just a block. It's fine. Three mana creature for three mana creature at the end of the day. Guess hedge on the line is fine. I'm not sure I'm gonna block with it though. There's too many plus three tricks. And I am missing land, so I do need it to trigger. So I'm taking four here. Yeah, I mean, I could chump. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. All right. Another goat. It's actually a decent draw. Because now what we can do is we can goat and then 
crew with one of the goats and then hold open the other goat to become a 4-4. Four -four. Gotta hit lands here though. This is a bit desperate. Man. I mean, I'm glad we didn't draw those. But. Maybe I just want to do a chump blocker here. I mean, we're minimum taking six. I wouldn't say I'm happy about our spot. That's uh, just big enough, isn't it? I mean, I guess I need to be mana efficient and do this now. Serious? Dragon fire to you? All right. GG. I'm not dead yet. Close. We're not dead yet, though. There's still a chance. Um, we can crew, make a doll. I hopefully get lands. I, I mean, again, I don't want to attack, but I think I have to. We are putting ourselves, thank goodness, we are putting ourselves, um, well, I mean, if they can't kill us this turn, they can put us to one on board as is. If they can't kill us this turn, and they attack in and put us to one, the survivor plus the head shredder is lethal next turn. I think we have a chance here, <laughs> as crazy as that seems. I mean, they have to have something. They didn't remove my 1-1. One, one. Here we go. Block. Okay, that doesn't do it. They still need a land. The last card in hand has to be a land. Of course it is. <sighs> okay. Sure. GG. Ah, uh, we had outs. We got a little bit stuck on mana. I don't even think it was a color issue necessarily. Yeah, murder would have been nice, but it's unfortunate. I am going to switch out of murder for one of these really awkward emergencies just to have um, more coverage earlier for earlier removal, but I think that game was just a little bit unfortunate. This hand looks good. I'll make her shop. Makes it a lot better. I'm gonna just uh, hold off them. I think you could put Faithful out into Dollmaker Shop, but uh, I think playing a grindier game is what I want to do with the vacuum. Especially since we're up against uh, white black. I mean, hmm. I guess I can hold that. Try and draw it removal. Because we can always get back with the vacuum. It'll still have the same ability. Gonna block. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll go for it.
Yeah. Alright. That's fine. I'm gonna hold off on the vacuum. See what they do. Take three here. Good news is this vacuum completely hoses white black recursion. I mean, it really makes our deck very, very awkward potentially here. Like they can't put something good in the grave. They don't want to, at least. I mean, they're hitting lands. Good for us. Yep. There we go. I just want to block the doll. I mean, clearly they're holding up in removal, you know? It's decent. It is definitely safer to just do removal spell here, but I think I need to do survivor, tap it with the head shredder attack in, get a doll. It's gonna be tight though. The 3 3 will be tapped. I'll have one chump blocker, I'm basically signing up to go to four, maybe more. I mean, this is interesting though, if they're holding on to like murder, do they let me attack with the shredder and get rid of the survivor so I don't make a 3-3 or how do they want to play this? I mean, I'm making the doll either way. Or they could just remove my blocker, right? The doll. Like, I, I think you could make the argument that killing the doll is, is good too. So, looks like they chose to... Nice hits, let's go. Um... That was nice. <laughs> um, <sighs> um, I guess I can't risk that this 2-2 flips into something bigger and we'll just take one extra damage here. I'm not, I'm not happy about it though. Okay. That's a wide board, but we have ghost vacuum, so... I think we have a chance here. So I have to ghost vacuum and hopefully draw land for nowhere to run. Hmm. We get to draw a card. And make a 3-3 three, three, potentially if we don't get nowhere to run. Which seems pretty good. Actually, why is it leaving my red open? Um... 
guess this is fine. My thinking is I can always go fetch another planes and I don't mind making my planes into a 3-3. Three, three. Whereas losing double black means I'm losing murder at the end of the day. It's a good draw. Can I afford to do this? I think it's safest just to do this. Okay. So, no 3-3 three, three for us. I'm gonna go to one. I need my faithful alive, so I need to crew with the faithful, eat the three two, chump two of the two twos. I mean, this is where we're at. Don't look in your grave. Okay. That's not great, but it could have been worse. And that draw is pretty good. Okay. So what can we do here? All right, let's kill this. Let's play out Arabella. Let's play out the Zealot. I mean, it's a free attack with the Shredder. We do make the doll to uh, replace it, you know? So it's not like I'm tapping an extra creature here. It does make it so I'm not, like, killing upon block. That lands good. Okay, I mean, if they have the black-white signpost, now is the time. Oh, they don't. Okay. Massive. Massive, massive, massive. I think I do want to flip this. I have murder. Um, they have to block. So... They have to block one of them. I have two blockers left plus murder. That seems safe enough, right? That does make it a little more awkward. Where's my recursion? Like, <laughs> I've milled so many cards. And he writes the moth wanting to be milled. Yep. Okay.
the game. Okay. Uh, desperation tech, or they just have it and they're pulling me around. Can't tell. Guess we have murder. So if I like, walk like this, I can just murder one of the creatures before they kill mine. Or they're off it. Genuine good game. All right, GG. I can't believe we came back there. That was bonkers. Thank you, Ghost Vacuum. What a game. <laughs> Our MVP is in hand, Ghost Vacuum, and we can cast Arabella here, which is even more impressive. Um, yeah, I don't need to hold open nowhere to run. It's fine. Um, I don't have to kill that. But I will, I guess. I mean, mainly because I can vacuum it. It's a good vacuum target, too. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll vacuum their thing. Looks like they're kind of on delirium too, so. I mean, keeping their grave clean and like getting rid of their dragon fire and stuff is probably still worth it. Really like another land here. <sighs> One turn too late. It's frustrating. Man, that is like the one card that's good against Death Touch. Um, I guess I'm taking six. I don't... The problem is I don't have a way to kill that for a long time. So... Could just lose to this combo here. I I think uh I think we want to do the emergence to keep them off delirium. That is great. Okay. Um let's get a trigger in here. Go here. I mean, we still don't have enough to do a a block. It's fine, I guess. That is kind of worst case scenario, right?
Let's just clear out their delirium. They're definitely on a delirium deck, so. I mean, the Death Hunter is the only thing keeping the most valuable Slayer from being able to attack in, so... Yeah, I'm brutal. Not gonna block, we're going down to four. If they have the, uh... Enchantment guy. We just lose. Well, they don't have delirium, so we don't lose. Okay. It's quite good. Still can't do emergence in the same turn. So if they kill the spirits, we're just absolutely dead at this point, but. I mean, I'm, I lose red if I do this, but I think I'm okay with that. I can always vacuum it back, too. For what it's worth. There is some merit to killing the Slayer, but I think I'm just going to get rid of the higher power creature. It's also a very good vacuum target for us. <sighs> this is quite precarious. Okay. So, they have a trick. Let's go Death Toucher here. I like doing this and chomping on the first strike. Yeah, I mean, I can't not block. If they have any trick, I'm just dead, so. It's gotta be a chump. Damage. Oh, that was good. That's okay too. It was gonna get exiled anyway upon death. Um Yeah. Ghost vacuuming. Seems great. This is why the ghost vacuum's so good. Now uh, they have delirium. I can't. I mean, it's lethal on the crack back here, so. I have to vacuum. 
Which means I can't get any other creatures in there. That's okay. It also means I can't tamper with their delirium anymore. Which is maybe the, the bigger miss. We do get our mountain though. Yeah, I still need the mountain. Okay. So with Delirium, we do have to put a double block. It'll have Menace. I didn't even attack. Okay. Well, in that case. Poke. I uh, need to draw some action. Two lands is not where I want to be, but it looks like me and the opponent are kind of equally on lands here. So double block, we'll get a 2-2. Two -two. Then we'll be able to double block the beastie. It's a terrible manifest target. You can't turn over a vehicle, so... Oh, okay. Well, we were just digging ourselves closer to our wind con. There we go. <laughs> Drawing more land. Classic. Nice. GG. Alright, I mean... The games are crazy. <laughs> and they're fun, so... Let's just keep going. We're at three wins. That swamp is actually a very, very good draw. We don't need it necessarily, but just hitting land drops for this deck are good. And it was necessary because we do have to remove that tamer. That's why two mana removal spells are really important in this format. Like, you just can't leave a tamer on the battlefield and expect to win. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> they would have had three gremlins. In addition to what they have now, I would have been unbeatable. I want to make a 4-4. Four, four. I guess if I do this, I'm more likely to get Horde Caller next turn. And that seems pretty good. A friendly ghost. It's fine. We'll take four here. Very nice. Okay. So. We'll be making the gremlins in this game. Thank you. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. I was not expecting to hard cast Arabella and Horde Color. The amount we have. I think that's been quite fortunate getting the Zealot to do that. And the Mountain, so. Uh, they don't make a Gremlin. It gets rid of the abilities, so they just have a 1-4. Um, and what's interesting is, like, if we kill it, we can recur it. We have so much recursion that... Um, be reasonable to think we'll be able to do that. Okay. Uh, they do not have good attacks, and even with that, they still don't have great attacks. There's a recursion. Kind of want twins though, right? Well, maybe we should just draw cards. Yeah, that's probably better. Because we could draw land and then do do twins after. There it is. Arabella seems fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
bit of flood out. Uh, yep. Wow. Eight lands. I guess Death Touch is pretty good here with Arabella attacking in. I mean, we have to flip Arabella pre combat, right? For the trigger. Uh, but with Right of the Moth being able to bring her back, I think this is fine. You know? Like, what are they gonna do? Not block? And they have to give up a pretty, pretty great creature in order to kill Arabella. It has to be like Ghost or Key Bearer. Or I guess some combination of other creatures. I mean, even if it's just like the Glimmer and the Glimmer, we're good. Yeah, fantastic. Means our spirits can start attacking in now. It's like our opponent's flooding as well. <laughs> the Battle of the Floods. Uh... I mean, at least the goat can make use of that, I suppose. Do both. Let's go like this. This is very good for us. We absolutely want our Horde Caller back in our grave. Um, Cause it's just like, what, lethal next turn? Right? We get back Arabella and then Hoarder next, next turn. Uh, do I want to hold land? I guess so. <laughs> That's all right, man, I know. I know, we're both flooding, it's okay. I just have more recursion and more value. That's what happened here. <sighs> Don't blame it on the flood. Europea flooded equally, it's just we had ways to use our flood, like the goat and the right of the moth. And that's the difference in that game right there, is that they didn't have a way to utilize their extra lands and um, get more value. It's a great hand. <laughs> this is kind of awkward because Arabella does not trigger the doll shop, so I have to attack with like my O4. <laughs> Uh, good thing they're taking the turn off. Like, I... I guess we still put Arabella out, but... Yeah, now that we have the Horde Caller, we definitely put Arabella out. <laughs> Some temptation to doll shop, though. But yeah, no, this is correct. Yeah. Ooh. I guess I don't need the emergence. Huh. So this is like uh, super awkward. Because I have to attack with my O4 fine. You know, Toby making everything into a flyer is a very real win con here. We're gonna have quite a bit of tokens if we play this right. I mean, we have dragged the roots to 
make it so we can keep attacking in exactly right here. I'm just going to get this off the battlefield and swing out. My Zealot and Arabella, another trigger. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. Forgot that, you know, we had a 1-1 one -one that could attack in. Oops. That was actually really bad. We needed that token for Toby. I hope that doesn't cost us this game. That was a really big mistake by me. That was a really big mistake. Okay. First Strike Death Touch is a thing. That is a thing. I guess we just set up with Toby is the right way to deal with this. <laughs> okay. That's a... That'll be an interesting death toucher. <clears throat> right. So... I could have made two more tokens there and lost Arabella and Horde Collar in the attack and had some flying tokens. And although I think that would have been okay Hey, oh my gosh, what is this deck? Is that Ghostly Dancers and Enduring Innocence? <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That is pretty good. Victor. Okay. Right. Please attack him with both. Great. We're just gonna take all this to the face. Um So, Ghostly Dancers can make three flyers next turn with the mana they have. Good. We'll have four flyers. Ping for two. Yeah, I like this. This is lethal. Um, we need to gain the life off of Arab. Bella. The 4-4 four, four token can attack in safely. Um, so go to 7. We have 4 flyers. We flip the dollhouse. They become... Well, depending on how they block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, and then another dog has made seven. There's seven sevens at the worst case scenario here. I just can't block, except with the Shroud Stomper. And even that... Well, I guess, I guess we're about to find out if we topped anything here. It was a land. Alright, so... Having full information here is great. They'll play out dancers, they'll unlock their greenhouse, and then they'll play out the Enduring Innocence. And then we win. We can safely block Victor. We do have to discard a card. Be fine. Take 13. 14. Because of the Enduring Innocence. So 14. 15, 16, go to 2. Uh, we're gonna win this game. I mean, there's nothing the opponent can do at this point. Victor almost got there for them. It doesn't matter if they attack or not here. It makes no difference on the crackback. It's all in the air. I 
I mean, if I was them, I'd attack all to force me to make the right play by not chomping with Toby, but... Or with one of my tokens. But it looks like they don't want to do that. GG. Okay, so we just flipped the dollhouse. They have three blockers, yep. I'm not even going to go on the ground to give them a chance to get life back with the Enduring Innocence. I mean, the Shroud Stomper does technically drain them and gain it back anyway, but um, there's, there's just no point. GG. That was... A very interesting game of magic. I think I could have gone one turn more aggressive, but I like how I played it. Um, I mean, we got there in the end. Five and two after a rough start. It's good. It's fine. I mean, I wouldn't say it's great, but potentially a turn four survivor is something. The dollhouse certainly helps as well. One mountain in the deck, by the way. <laughs> nice. That forest is huge. Alright, so we're gonna have dollhouse. I guess dollmaker shop. Attack. <laughs> uh, attacking with the zero four is so awkward. Right, they're on the sacrifice deck. Nope, pretty good. Now we just win, right? It's nice. They're missing lands, dropping a five drop, and making more toys. I'll make land creatures, this is pretty good. One more land and everything becomes power toughness equal to the number of creatures I have. Yeah. <laughs> GG. Uh, that was... Unfortunate they stumbled, but we took advantage. Like, we had a great curve out to put the pressure on. Like, that was a well-deserved win. And yeah, they stumbled on mana, but if we didn't have that pressure, then it wouldn't have mattered. So, GG. For the trophy. Who knew we'd get here after a pretty rough draft. We got a lot of good card quality. It's just nothing came together the way I wanted it to, especially with like the recursion. But obviously Ghost Vacuum and Dollmaker's shop are pretty gross. And Toby even. I mean, Toby won us a game there, so... Another enchantment deck. Yep, I think we just kill that now. Okay. Oh, they're missing lands too. What is with people today? Um, we'll just chill, I guess. This is pretty brutal. I'll attack in for seven. Choose a forest here. GG. There's the trophy. <laughs> uh. Well, how about that? Splashing for Horde Caller and Arabella in an Abzan recursion deck. Uh, those were some really interesting games. 
I mean, really interesting games. Probably some of the more unique games I've had in the format for sure. Um, our top end was a little lacking, but I guess it was just enough. Our, our removal was good. Arabella was great. I'm glad we decided to splash for both of those. Um, taking out the murder was maybe questionable. I think you could go either way on it. But, I mean, obviously we won out when it was out, so I don't know. Uh, hard to say what would have been better. Um, yeah, I mean, fun deck. <laughs> Really unique build for sure. Ghost Vacuum uh, won many games, and same with the uh, Doll Maker's Shop. I think the Ghost Vacuum winning the games was more surprising. Um, Toby was great too, so yeah, fun build. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again next week.